Welcome to this video where I will show a gaming session where I was playing as the platoon leader. So starting here I just died and uh, at the southern point we're trying to take a split peak pass. But I can see here uh, I was playing a little bit south of that that uh, there are quite a few vehicles headed for split peak pass. So what I do is that I spawn at uh, another place closer northeast of the objective. Uh, I spawn a Sandy equipped with the uh, AMS which will allow us to spawn to have a spawn point where we are working at the speed packs speed peak. But there is already quite a bit of activity here north of uh, northeast of speed peak. A lot of air as you can see. And that's not all. We're also about to face enemy vehicles on the ground. Here it comes. Enemy tank right ahead. I cannot take this road. And it's probably not alone. So here I'm just doing what I can to save the Sander. Not that it has much strategic value here, but it's always nice to not lose your resources. And at this point, these uh, all these aircraft are really starting to annoy me. So it's time to uh, to spawn an AA Max. So things that are good to know is that when you're a Max, you cannot deploy uh, squad spawn be spawn beacons, and you cannot drive vehicles. So in this case, it's really not ideal that uh, a squad leader and owner of a vehicle switches to uh, anti-air max, but the situation is quite desperate here and we really need to, to defend this place and to defend against air, so that's why I'm spawning a uh, max anyway. So keep an eye on the on the left part here. We can see that we already have enemies on the point, so we are about to lose this uh, this place if we don't do if we don't recap the point. So I notify the platoon about it. And as we as you will soon uh, soon see, we take back the point. So things are reasonably stable on that side at least. Keep cleaning up the skies. The announcer is a little bit uh, overly optimistic, I would say, here because this battle is far from over. Commandable, a truly stalwart defense. An enemy Sunday comes a little bit too close to us. But he's not alone, there are more Sundays, more tanks coming our way. It's better to meet them out as far as possible. So I set a, a, a platoon waypoint there and ask on the entire platoon to go and meet them with rocket launchers or anything they can use to destroy the tanks. We also have quite a few tanks around. Night has fallen, and as you can see, there are traces and uh, explosions all over the place. The skies are pretty clear now, not too many aircrafts harassing us. Still, the occasional river passing over, but they don't stay here very long. Eyes on an enemy gunship. But the enemies are pushing in with their tanks. And uh, they also have infantry on the point already, some advanced forces. And the main forces are progressing on the ridge here, as you can see. So they are slowly coming closer and closer to their objective. The 
take a look at the map. At a particularly bad time, I'm now surrounded by enemies, so it's really not a good idea to stay here. It's the right time to cut and run. It's a good thing that Max is a very resistant. Takes many shots to take him down. And as I just said, it's a good thing that Max is a very resistant because here's a Max. Uh, here's an uh, anti-infantry mines that does even more damage to me. Indeed, we are very close to losing A again, so I'm asking my people to go take the point back. Myself, I'm in a very bad shape here, and uh, sadly there's no engineer here who can help me. So I will be forced to stay in the, in the spawn room for quite a bit of time. My squad is doing a very good job taking the point very quickly, putting six people in the point. We regain control over the over the point very quickly. But still, very enemy presence around the spawn room. So this is not over yet. The clock here that is uh, hacking our terminal, probably with the intent of. Uh, Spawning their own Sandy, right in the middle of the battle. Yeah, now they fight again the, the, the platoon, and uh, someone takes uh, resp responsibility to go take uh, the terminal back and hack it back. Meanwhile, uh, another Sandy arrives, and of course, we need to take it out. So that's what I ask my uh, platoon to do. And that's what they do. We have a lightning that comes and on the on the center helps destroy it. And I don't know if they used C4 or mine, but the Sunday is no gun. Airborne I have now regained half of my health through uh, auto regen, so I dare go to the roof again and uh, try to help uh, clear the skies because we can never really be at peace here while there are weavers flying around and harassing us. Thank you SOE for making a hole in the in the roof here. That was very very useful. So we finally defend this place. But we still have uh, an enemy center a little bit uh, further out. Uh, I have a scout report it say that there is an enemy center on Alpha 10. But in the end we took care of it. So we are now ready to move to Split Peak Pass, the place we wanted to go to originally, but we cannot get in yet. We have to take out the shield first. So this is why I set a waypoint for my squad there on the shield, which was a bit unnecessary because we already have uh, four people taking care of it. And meanwhile, the NC are cutting us off here. You can see that this uh, territory that is flashing there shades by a farms is being attacked by the NC. If they take it, then the place where we are now will not be connected to the uh, to our warp gate anymore. So we are not gaining any resources and we are surrounded by enemies, so it will be very hard to take. So at this point I wonder if we should go and take back Shade Spire Farms. Uh, this is a cost though, is that uh, all this fight that we had here will be for nothing because we will abandon the place, fall back, it's quite a long drive actually on Emerge because uh, the distance between uh, two points is always very long because you have very uh, snaky roads. So we just continue doing what we were doing here, capturing more territories, encountering a little resistance on the way. But a single tank is really just a little distraction for us at this point. We have uh, so many people with uh, the right weapons to deal with them inside the Sundays that there are no much, no big threat. Not if they come one by one at least. 
So now we're finally ready to go for a mechal attack plant.